this week we've gone to Dublin, we went to the Temple Bar and the Walking Tour, we did a pub crawl, we went to the Paddy Wagon Tour and we've gone to the Guinness Storehouse, we went to Adair, Anaskol, we went to Sea Head, we saw some beautiful beaches, we gone to Dingle, we went to an Itch Beach, Killarney, Waterville, Schneem, we saw castles and castles and castles and castles, we've gone to the Tall Waterfall, we went to Blanham, we got the Gift of the Gab, we went to Cobb, we went to Cork, we went to the Cliffs of Moor, we went to Galway, we went to Kong and Don Eagle. Wow, hey. Holy. Anyway, we had some really beautiful weather at the start of this and it was like 26 degrees and you could really tell who the locals were and who the tourists were because all the Irish people were sunburned. Yep. It was great. Um, yeah, I've learnt a little bit of Gaelic uh, this week, Ga Irish Gaelic. Um, we learnt how to say Cade Miller Fulcher, which everybody says is always a sign at the start of the towns. It means 100,000 welcomes. <laughs> it's good fun. Okay. Alright, well, um, I'm going to talk about this for my friends back home. <laughs> Vegemite. Now, he's saying that like he's really excited about it, but uh, they looked at me quite strangely when I said I was going to go to the supermarket and buy some Vegemite. They're like, don't do it, it's crazy, you'll never find it, it's too expensive, la la la. First, I got a little bit homesick and I bought this because it's probably the only majorly Aussie thing that I need over here. And, um, because I don't eat jam, and that's the only thing they have at the hostels and the backpackers here. So I got my Vegemite. As soon as I opened it, like, literally, open it up. Um, Lyle had his knife in it before I could even use it. And that was cool, because, you know, it's, it wasn't much, and it lasts a long time. So the other guys got straight in the Vegemite. There was another jar of Vegemite there. I felt pretty good about my choice. The next day, I didn't get up for breakfast, just had an apple, felt like some fruit. And uh, packing the bags, Vegemite gone. Uh, Lyle lost it. I don't know how he lost it. I don't know how he lost Vegemite in I'm London. On the table. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All Ireland, no Vegemite. But um, at the end of our trip of Ireland, we found another bottle, another jar. So here we go. I have Vegemite, and that is really good news. Um, so we went to Galway last night, um, and in Galway, uh, it's actually pretty normal to go to the bar and ask for a couple of hookers and coke. Now, it's not what you think, there's actually a beer in Galway called Hookers, and you can order that and you can order a glass of coke, and no one flinches. I said it trying to be funny at the bar, expecting people to laugh, maybe even hit me, tell me to go away and not be rude, but no, I just walked up and said... I have a couple of hookers and coke and no one flinched. Uh, really weird, but kind of funny at the time. I guess you probably had to be there. Um, the other thing I'm going to talk about really quick is the music scene around. Um, we went to Dublin on the first night in Ireland. Um, the, the first thing I did in Dublin was had a really late night and I did some Irish dancing, which I'll be posting a video of. I've been told I kind of look like a big hobbit. I don't really think I look that big, but as people say I'm a big hobbit. So um, yeah, I did the dancing, and then where was I? And then the next day, um, I went and saw some bands, and I saw traditional live bands. Um, I was as, sitting as close to as I am to Lyle and Kai right now to a traditional uh, folk band. I'm going to post a video of. Um, I also saw another rock folk band, which were fantastic. I saw um, someone play a classical Irish instrument called an Ellen, which is like a bagpipes without the bag and stuff. Really weird, but so cool. Yep, um, that was really cool. And what else did I see in music wise? Um, old guys called the 60 year old bands. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I posted a video of a 60 year old performing um, traditional Irish music and all his groupies. Um, that was kind of pretty cool because the groupies were about 65, 70 and they all come in right on the minute. They got us to all shove over. They didn't say get out of the seat, said move over the edge and I literally had the guy's elbow in my ribs every time he's moving the accordion. <laughs> and I felt like part of the music, it was kind of really cool. I'm just going to see if there's anything else I meant to talk about here. Um, no, I think that's about it. Yeah, look, I recommend if you like music, going to Ireland. The music's been fantastic sure. here. Cool. I'm going to come back just for the music alone, honestly. The people are really friendly. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll leave it there and uh, pass you on to Lyle. Yeah, so um, uh, on our tracks, on, on one of our um, day trips, we uh, went for breakfast, I had an Irish breakfast, and you would have known from the other video I had a black pudding, well this time I had a white pudding. Um, I don't really know what it was made of, um, but it was kind of nice actually, I really enjoyed it. Um, 
Yeah, it was like it was a really, really weird looking texture, but um, other than that, it was, it was pretty awesome. So, Ben told us any course. Really? Oh, Even the waiter didn't that. know what it was. <laughs> no. So, yeah, no, wouldn't have a clue. Could be caramel or not. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, after that, uh, we went for a you know, big drive on a, on a day trip and uh, seen some amazing, amazing scenery. Um, the beaches, um, it's just, well, it's just amazing, amazing views. Yeah, couldn't believe it. And also there was um, the Cliffs of Moha, which is uh, also really amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Also known as the Cliffs of Moha. <laughs> well, 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 Moha, Moha. It sounds yeah. like Lord of the Rings when you say it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I anyway. definitely recommend going there. Yeah, we have met some pretty cool people, and we're going to actually we let you guys meet some of them. Yes. We've met this girl. Her name is Nikki. We're going to pass you on right now. Say good day to Nikki. Hi, guys. I'm Nikki, and I'm actually a fellow Geelongian. I met these guys, though, in Ireland, so it just took me a while to get here to be able to meet them. And it turns out I have no friends in Geelong because we have no Facebook friends. So, um, however, on the plus side, I did go on a carriage ride, and a 60-year-old man did ask me to marry him. So... Feeling pretty lucky about that one. Uh, but yeah, it's basically that's it. That's my story. Uh, I think we've got some other new friends just over here. Woo! Hey, hey. Hello, we're uh, hey. fellow travellers along with the Paddy Wagon Tour. That's right. Um, the other day we were in Dublin and we decided to go out to uh, this restaurant to get some. We got some huge burgers. Yeah. And, uh, the burger was delicious, but I kind of felt bad because the entire country is covered in cows and they all kind of stared at me because they knew what I did. <laughs> but, uh... We met this guy, um, his nickname was Chief, and uh, he started he started drinking a lot, and then he tried to show us um, how to get the local girls, which was very interesting. Uh, he had a very interesting technique he went about, though. It was called the cat among the pigeons, and um, it would have worked if the pigeons didn't fly away. Uh, he kept going after the same girl who had a boyfriend, but... Um, they both didn't seem to mind. It was kind of weird being in Ireland. Um, everything, everyone's so friendly. Uh, I never would have thought that. Now, a key part to a cat among the pigeons is before you do it, and you know it's something you really shouldn't be doing, you just gotta go watch this, and then dip out, and that's that's the technique. Right there. <laughs> so that's our story. We met uh, we met the good chief, chieftain of Ireland, and he's given us nicknames too. This is the shy one, and I'm loose cannon. <laughs> I guess we'll pass on that. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah. those are all our new friends, well, some uh -huh. of them. Yeah. And anyway, I well, want to teach you one more. more Gaelic word. This, uh, so repeat after me. Slauncha. Slauncha. It means cheers. Slauncha.